What's up, everybody? It is Coach Adam here from Decentralized Strength and Conditioning. I am a certified strength and conditioning specialist, and I help everybody to maximize on their own physique, their fitness levels, and athleticism, no matter where you currently are in your own lifespan. And we do that by making workout and demo commentary videos during the weekdays on the simplest, the safest, and the most effective approaches to reach your goals. And then on Sundays, I come out with my own personal fitness journal to go over uh, how I'm doing in my uh, my fitness journey, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but it also helps to keep me accountable and it helps to uh, show you what it really takes to uh, stay in fairly good shape year round. So this is why I do this, and I'm on week 116. Today is Saturday, June 22nd, 2024. And then I'll also come out with my own workout commentary from a workout that I've done over the past few months just to show you what a typical week looks like or a typical workout looks like for me. So let's uh, dive into it. So my main goals for this year, 2024, really to max out my physique, my fitness levels and athleticism. So in terms of my physique, I just wanna be able to see my lower abs year round, but I also want to increase my muscle mass to 160 if possible. And it's gonna be a little bit difficult right now because I haven't been doing that many lower body exercises and the legs in the lower body have a lot of muscle mass so I'm definitely losing a bit of muscle mass just because I'm uh, focusing more on recovery and making sure that I can get back to uh, healthier especially with my hips and then in terms of my fitness levels uh, in order to maintain that there's two categories there's the short-term uh, energy systems your drag race sprint engine and then there's your long-term uh, Torin engine. So I want to be able to go on long trips and not have to worry about my energy levels, but I also want to be able to do a drag race whenever I need to. And if I need to, I can do multiple drag races and still be good to go. So that's why I like to test my two mile bike time. And my goal is to get a sub five minutes and 15 seconds on the assault bike for uh, two miles. And then I'll walk or do uh, 30 minutes of continuous bike or a walk, which is about, uh, you know, a good 5,000 steps with the goal is to get, you know, seven to 10,000 steps on a daily basis in general. And then in terms of my athleticism, I want to be able to get a 30 inch vertical and a sub five seconds on the 40 yard dash. So those are two more things that I'll have to test i haven't tested that since i started the youtube channel but i can't really do that stuff anyways right now since i am uh, rehabbing my hip basically and uh see another some other goals here i eat an average of 3.25 calories a day my goal is not to go over 3500 i eat a salt oil and sugar free diet free of added or processed foods uh, a processed free food diet of added salts, oils, and sugars, I guess. Uh, I need to focus on drinking the less coffee and really focus on the hydration. So I got a water distiller recently. Uh, I put lemon in my water, uh, aloe vera. I supplement with different type of salts, and we'll talk about that in a minute here. Uh, then I'm also incorporating nutritional yeast. I think I mentioned the salts. And I got some sea vegetable uh, sea salt from Maine too. So all these are all these different supplements, I guess, but they're real foods. Uh, the goal is that they will be able to give me all the vitamins and minerals and things that I need. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. But this next slide here is how not to reach my goals. And then we'll get into a bit more of the diet. But this slide is important because this reminds me of, you know, if I continue to do these things, then I'm not going to be able to reach my goals or I'll be uh, knocked off the wagon or off track, I guess. So if I continue to train through pain, especially my lower body, 
and not focus on the recovery aspect and uh, rehab in my hip, then I will just continue to set myself back and have periodic days where uh, I won't be able to do things. So I got to really focus on that. If I have easy access to food in general, especially processed foods, then uh, I'll definitely eat over my target and I won't be able to reach my goals. And that goes hand in hand if I have easy access to foods in general and especially if they're processed I want to stay away from that so what I do is I only really have food that I'm going to eat that day and uh, the other food is stuff that I would have to cook and uh, you know after I eat a big meal I don't feel like cooking again so that's a good thing but if I let's say I had a jar of peanut butter or a jar of honey it'd be easy just to go and take a scoop out of there every once in a while and then that leads to, you know, like a binge eating episode. So I don't want, I just keep all that stuff out of the house, basically. And if I drink too much coffee and not enough water, then I'll be de dehydrated, unmotivated, won't be able to reach my goals. And if I fall asleep past 10 p.m., I won't be able to get my seven to eight hours of sleep because I always typically just wake up, you know, right around five o'clock. So I want to make sure that I am getting good sleep. Let's move on to some diet stuff here. So these are some screenshots of a few supplements that I've been getting. So nutritional yeast, this is non-fortified and nutritional yeast is loaded with all the B vitamins. So uh, that is a way that I get all my B vitamins and I'll just simply add that to my meals as a condiment basically. And if you've never had nutritional yeast, you'll notice that you'll get a flushing effect so uh, vitamin B3 I believe uh, or niacin niacin you can get like the niacin 500 tablets at like uh, GNC and you'll get that flushing effect where your skin will get red and that's one of the effects of the B vitamins so just an interesting an antidote there and then I have different types of salt that I've been using uh, Redmond's Real Salt. This comes from Utah and it's going to have a different mineral and vitamin profile than other type of sea salts. So the other type of really high quality sea salt is the Celtic sea salt. Um, and the one thing about these two sea salts is I'm not 100% sure for these salts is if they have iodide. So I'll talk about another type of sea salt that I'm going to experiment with that has uh, sea vegetables and stuff in it and it has like 200% of your iodine that you need a day so that's something that I just want to make sure that I'm eating too is the iodine get trying to get all the minerals and vitamins and everything I need uh, so the nutritional yeast and the salt and just a good rounded diet should be able to get all those aspects then I also like to use turmeric as well as uh, clove powder a lot on my meals recently and then I got a water distiller um, now I just don't want to drink the tap water anymore there's just too many movies and too many uh, incidents of issues with tap water so what I've been doing is distilling my water and uh, I've been eight and I've been you know using the salt and other supplements here to make sure that I'm getting all the vitamins and the minerals that I need. And I could always add lemon, I could always add salt to the water as well to re-mineralize -mineral, mineral, the water, the, the distilled water, which is, you know, distilled water is simply the, uh, you know, the evaporation or the, you know, how clouds get water, how it rains basically, right? Water evaporates, goes into the clouds and then rains down. So this is really no different. This is a kind of a cloud machine, I guess, where, you know, I'm creating a cloud and then it's raining into the, uh, the water bottle there that they give you. <laughs> so the other thing that I just recently got, but I haven't received it yet should be coming in, in from Amazon the next day or two is the main coast sea vegetables and what I got was their main sea salt and what they do is they add uh, three different types of sea vegetables uh, to it and I think 
forget exactly what it, the three types are called, but uh, it's like, um, let's see if I can, well, I forget the names, I'll have to come up with it next week, but it's three different type of seaweed vegetables, and they have a little chart here of how their uh, ingredients compare to other type of foods. So you can see that uh, their sea vegetables are going to be way higher in minerals and vitamins than your typical uh, food. So I think this will be a great way to make sure that I'm getting all my uh, essential vitamins and minerals and all that good stuff. So pretty cool main sea vegetables. I'm going to do some more presentations on uh, you know these supplements and maybe some reviews just to uh, educate everybody on some non you know big company like big supplement company they're not in pills uh, so this is a good way to get all your supplements in without that feeling that you're taking like 20 pills a day now we can move on to my Excel spreadsheet here so I just track my body weight, my calories, my protein, and my steps, and then my sleep every single day, basically. And then I can look at the average over a period of a few weeks. My body weight's been right around 150 for the past few weeks, uh, regardless of what I do. My calories have been pretty good. I've had a fewer high days. Uh, you know, one day, Monday, I ate about 4,000 calories. But my average calories over the past three three weeks and right on track about 3,117 calories my protein has been pretty high 278 grams of protein I am I have been incorporating more meat so I'm eating more of a animal based diet right now and then I'll have fruit and I'll have honey and stuff as a first meal as a lunch so you know under a thousand calories and then I'll have my big meal later on at night and then I'll just go to bed after that typically and for protein we're trying to have at least our body weight in grams of protein so that's important so at least 160 grams of protein um, I have one day where I totally messed up I put 31 grams that's not right it's probably 310 grams or something like that but my protein has gone up a bit I've been eating more meat um, so just I definitely went had those keto uh, headaches last week so that was different I haven't had those in a long time because I was typically eating a plant-based diet so mostly carbs uh, and sugars but healthy carbs and sugars not simple carbs they were complex carbs and sugars but definitely a bit of a diet switch and uh, this week pretty good I went to the sauna one day uh, you know, yesterday, Friday, so I did, let's see, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I had three really great workouts, and then Friday, didn't really have uh, as much energy as I wanted to, I think I drank too much coffee yesterday, so the goal is, like I said, if I drink too much coffee, I just um, set myself back a little bit, get, you know, too much caffeine, I guess, not enough water, got to make sure that I stay on top of that. So let's look at my injury report here. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm really focusing on the hips, the glutes, the hip rotator muscles, the psoas has been super tight. So I've been getting in that psoas um, massage tool uh, that has really been able to dig deep into my hips, my butt, and I will say it's a big game changer. So in addition to just not really doing many lower body things, just I've been doing the bike for longer distance stuff and I've been doing hip bridges as well as a rehab exercise. So a combination of that and getting some work done and uh, I'm going to see a massage or a uh, like a specialist I guess next week and we have somebody else at the gym, an athletic trainer who's been working on my shoulder a little bit, uh, my bicep and everything here but it's actually been feeling a lot better and I'll tell you it's definitely related to the hip so whenever my hip flares up I tend to get 
uh, a flare up as well in my shoulder, my neck and everything. But that's been really improving a lot. So I'm pretty happy there. The goal is just not to set myself back and do something stupid. So looking at my activity report, uh, one of the big aspects is not only to get a good warm up in in self care routine, but my other goal is to get you know 30 minutes of continuous exercise every day. So that could be a walk or a bike, and then I'm trying to get the same amount 30 minutes to an hour of mind stimulating activity with movement. So this could be like surfing, golf, pickleball, playing pool or darts, or just doing something where we're on our feet, uh, we're not drinking, we're uh, getting our heart rate up, and we're moving around. So that would be the other aspect. I gotta focus more on doing a little bit of that. I've been doing more surfing, so that's good. Okay, so let's finish up here with my workouts. Um, I'm still just doing muscle 15 to 20 reps and I think I'll just keep on doing more of a muscle based focus until I can really get the hips and everything back together. Uh, I just don't really want to, even if it's an upper body exercise, um, you know, we're going to have to use the hips to stabilize and everything. And I just don't want to tweak it, doing anything stupid on like, you know, a three rep or five rep max. And, uh, you know, that's really it. I've been going easier on my right side. So let's say I'm doing, you know, an incline bench. You know, maybe my left arm I'll do 40 pounds, but my right arm I'll do just 30 pounds. And uh, this is the same thing for, like, the incline rows that I do. Uh, I'm just doing about 10 pounds lighter on my right side than my left side because it's just uh, a little bit weaker than the left side. So I just have to, over time they will kind of catch up to each other. All right, so that's gonna wrap up this uh, journal this week. I added a few new slides talking about some products that I like to use, and I think I'll do some more uh, videos on those as well. So until next time, make sure to watch my workout commentary this week as well, but stay safe and keep grinding.